G'day everyone and welcome to the beautiful Kiwa Valley in Victoria's high country. We've got a really special show for you today, cooking out in the countryside with Fresh's favourite man of the land, Andrew Dwyer. Plus, I'm going to take you on a tour of some of this region's best places to eat and drink. It's a gourmet paradise here in the high country and I can't wait to share it with you. So stick around and enjoy the show. Victoria's high country has some of the most beautiful scenery this country has to offer. The area boasts stunningly beautiful alpine topography with dramatic mountain landscapes, wild rivers, snow gum forests and open grasslands. And that is just the scenery. The towns of the area are dotted with award-winning restaurants and gourmet food stores. A food lover would be right at home holidaying here in the high country. This is such an exciting part of Australia and well worth a visit if you get the chance. Well, we are in the Kiwa Valley with Andrew Dwyer and you know a thing or two about uh, cooking on the road, don't you? Look, I do, Pete. For the last 20 years, I've been feeding people all over the country with my mobile trailer. It is a fantastic trailer. What are some tips for people packing for, a, for an outdoor adventure, mate? Well, look, fresh vegetables and stuff, it's good to put them in those green stay fresh bags. Um, I like to pack things into square containers and pack everything nice and firm. And what about the china? I get those Chinese melamine plates, like this bowl's one of them, and uh, it looks like grandmother's bone china, but it's actually just plastic melamine and it's indestructible. Perfect. Yeah, it's what, good stuff. And what are you cooking for us? Well, today we're going to cook something that's a really easy road dish, and it's so suitable here with this beautiful trout stream oh, no. behind us, that we're having Desi smoked trout, and we're going to make a tomato fettuccine and I'm going to get you to bone out that trout. And why do you call it Desi's trout? Is he the man that well, smokes it? Desi's the man that caught it and smoked it. He's unbelievable. Is he a local? So he is indeed. He's, he's, he's from Mansfield and uh, and and he's been a, a, a butcher and fisherman in that area for well, all his life and his family before him. I think they started in the 1920s. Really? Yeah. Okay, so down the back trout. Just slide that off so no bones of course. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is cold smoked I take it? Yes. The only way. Oh, it's a beautiful little rainbow trout too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this wok on, and we're using this local olive oil grown here in the really? Kiwa Valley. Yep, it's good stuff. Now tell me, Italian food in a wok? Why? I think the wok is the, just the most sensible travelling tool because right. you can just take it with you wherever you go. It's easy to cook with. Food doesn't spill out over the sides, and it works. So I've got some olive oil in there. I'm going to put some chopped garlic. And you just want this trout just flaked, don't yeah, you? Yeah, just flaked into pieces. And some red chilli. Now, you can put as much chilli as you like in there. Now, I also read in your book, fantastic book, Outback. Outback, yeah. That's um, how you plan your food trip. You, you start with your perishables. Dead right, mate. Take us through that. Yeah, um, look, I tend to serve things like poultry and fish first. We'll chuck the trout in now. Poultry and fish first. Yep. Poultry and fish first. And, uh, and then later on in the trip, start moving towards the, um, you know, the, the less perishable items like uh, red meat, which cryovac will keep perfectly for between four and six weeks. In fact, the meat ages, it gets better. Okay, we've got that mix up now. Okay, have you got some parsley over I'll here? I'll tell you what I will need. I'll need some cracked pepper. Okay. In the and mortar I, and pestle? Yeah, and I always carry one of these. You pick these up at Asian stores for, you know... 10, 15 bucks. 10, 15 bucks. Okay, well, that can go straight in. I like it pretty rough, too. I prefer the pepper to you know, have a bit of texture to it. And some of these lemons. Now, you see with these lemons, they've even got the peel left on them. Now, the purists would probably gasp in horror, but uh, I reckon it just adds to the dish. It you tastes don't fantastic. Care, do you, mate? Don't care at all. <laughs> and a little bit of uh, mould and salt. Well, you could use any salt because... It's torn or chopped roughly? Or... Oh, I reckon just chopped roughly. Okay. In with the fettuccine. Now, the fettuccine, you've just pre-cooked this. Just pre-cooked it for about three minutes, that's all. And it's all. fresh fettuccine. It's fresh fettuccine. I reckon that parsley can go in now. That is looking so good. Oh. Doesn't that just suit the surroundings? Oh, it's fantastic. Mate, I reckon this is so good, I think we should eat it here and now. Straight out of the wok? Straight out of the wok. Got a fork? I'll turn this off. Yeah, yeah it'll taste, mate. So what do you call this again? Oh, fettuccine with smoked trout and capers. Oh, I call it bloody delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Thanks, Pete. And doesn't it taste better in this location? 
Look, it's fantastic. That's what I love about the northeast, especially at this time of year. You've got golden trees, blue skies, blue mountains, and these wonderful trout, trout streams and beautiful towns, great food. It's what it's all about. What else could you want? Now, don't go anywhere, because later on in the show, I'm going to take you on a food lover's journey of this region. But Lindy's up next with another yummy recipe. Every story ever told, I 